Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to write Python programming in Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. So, and here to download to uh, Visual Studio, so you should write in Google Visual Studio 2019. So, here you can find Microsoft site. Now, here this is the detail. Now, here after go to uh, Visual Studio. Now, here you can uh, find uh, three types of Visual Studio community, professional and enterprise. So if you click on uh, professional. So here uh, thank you for downloading uh, Visual Studio. So here you can get and here uh, VS professional exe file binary 1.3 MB. Now here after you need to click on save. So here after file is uh, downloaded complete or uh, completed. Now here after the next is let's go to download. Now here you can find so and here this is the professional and uh, you need to click this link. So this or oh, that I just add here downloaded. Click on yes. Now here after Visual Studio installer. So add here downloading and installing. So almost to the uh, Visual Studio installer. So add here you need to select uh, uh, for Python you need to select this option. Okay, so this is required and here you can get this information. Editing, debugging, interactive, development and secure control for Python. And here installation detail with Visual Studio Core Editor. And here, if you click this one, here you can get the Visual Studio course and experience including syntax, aware coding, this all those things. Now, here after optional, Python, mini code. So, here you should in your laptop add here Python 364-bit, it should be there. Now, here after, if you want, then here you can select this option. Add, so, so, this is add your older version. So, add here Python to 60 uh, for bit and if you are using a uh, 32 bit operating system you should select at here python 2 3 32 bit yeah now it's uh, looking fine so you need to select this option and here after no need to change anything now here after you need to do add here click on install now here you can see visual studio professional 2019 and here a starting operation so 0% here. So add here or for installation and download. So it's all depend upon your net speed. If your net speed is so faster, then it will take a few second times. Now add here Python that I already installed. So add here this is the process is going on. Now here after I'm going to open add here Visual Studio. Let's write add here Visual Studio 2019. So I cannot complete progress. Okay, it's not opening because the process is going on. So I'm going to pause this one. Now here after, so after installation, you can let's open Visual Studio 2019. Now here after, the next is create add here new project. Now here after you need to select add your language. So going to select add your language and here this is for so you can select add your or platform also. So if you want to do on iOS, so there is no any things related for iOS. Or you can select add your all. Now here you can uh, find add here. So Python is uh, selected. Now here so this is add here. There you can get uh, project tab machine learning this all those things so i'm going to select add your project tab or project tab now here after so here you can find python application or project created command line application now here you can create add your iron python now here after uh, you can find c add your uh, from exiting regression this all those things. 
so add here blank design go plan so if you install there so you get all those things add here now hereafter i'm going to select this option or python application now hereafter click on next and hereafter click on create so add here the location and here solution name so add here the project is create, going to create now hereafter the next is so they are already written one code for python okay they are already written python code so add here this program to add two numbers so going to copy this one and here up to let's so paste right here now here up to you can uh, see add here this is so here you can if you want then here you can see the uh, result if uh, numbers of lines are more then you can take the here now here up to python application to its created and here extension is dot py so that means it's a code of python now here after uh, we need to click add here attach so add here uh, python dot exe now here i am getting the output to add here 10.8 so n1 equal to 4.5 n2 equal to 6.3 and after doing addition n1 plus n2 so that go to sum so add here 10.8 and here it's a display so this is at here 0 and 1 this is the placeholder for n1 and n2 2 is for the placeholder for sum so at here 4.5 and 6.3 the output is a display 10.8 so at here a visual studio is the one of the greatest id so we should use at here mainly for c sharp but if you want then here you can try the python coding app so very uh, user friendly now if you do some mistakes like uh, add here i'm going to give or just to remove some now if i execute then here you can get to error notification very easily so add here it to describe name uum is not defined so this is the great features of visual studio it will directly show you which line has the problems so after that you can easily Mod to modification like if i'm going to put at here so now here after if i'm going to give at here n11 now if i execute so it will directly give the or suggest you where is the problems and here you can see n1 is not defined so you directly or compiler or take this point and here it's the describing n1 is not defined so we should first define after that we can write the codes so this is the main things about to visual studio so you should try at your writing codes of Python in Visual Studio. It's a very user friendly. Yeah. So this is the way we can use uh, Python in or uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. So you can create other types of code of Python. Create a project. Now here you can select and only Python. You can get at your web project, design go web, flash web, and other things. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.